Hi, my name is Blessing Adioye and welcome to Stories. Stories is an outlet for us here at OK Beast to dive deep into the countless tales that are waiting to be told within the gaming world. I figured it would only make sense to begin this series with an episode focused on a video game centric show that we here at OK Beast adore. So much so, we've decided to join forces with them and recreate OK Beast into a bigger, more dynamic brand. On this edition of Stories, I want to take a look at the number one stepfather, stepson gaming podcast, Pixel Pulse Radio. All right, uh, to start off, uh, who are you? What's your name? Uh, what do you do? I am Alex Van Aken. Uh, I'm from Boulder, Colorado, and I am the managing editor of PixelPulseRadio.com. I am uh, Brandon Wilson. I um, I do a podcast called Pixel Pulse Radio with uh, my stepson Alex Van Aken, and um, I I am actually an internet marketing manager. Uh, for my daytime job. Uh, for work, I, I actually work at a mortgage company for my nine to five. And then on the side, I am a church planner and I kind of, uh, do, I'm a worship leader. Essentially that means I uh, sing songs in front of people at church and just kind of lead like a congregation of people. As they near 70 episodes, Pixel Pulse Radio has seen Brandon and Alex juggle their daily lives and podcast lives. Brandon working as an internet marketing manager and Alex doing church planning on the side while working at a mortgage company during the day. So where does this leave room for gaming and even podcasting? How do these two different lives converge into 70 episodes of gaming's number one stepfather stepson podcast? Well, I guess I should start with the most important question. So what is Pix Pulse Radio for those who may not know? Um, Pixel Pulse Radio is a uh, nerd culture podcast uh, that that Alex and I kind of decided to do um, when he uh, when he moved across country to, to Colorado with with his wife Kayla. Um, we, we just kind of decided to do Pixel Pulse Radio as as a fun way to like stay in touch. Um, we were both heavily into gaming, heavily into nerd culture in general, so. Um, we knew that we were always going to have these conversations anyway, so it was just, you know, just an idea that, hey, why don't, why don't we try to record it and see where it goes? And, um, now we're, you know, almost 70 episodes in. I had really gotten into, uh, podcasts in late 2013. Um, I was listening to shows like Beyond, um, a show that actually was my first uh, podcast I listened to called Weekend Confirmed with uh, Jeff Kanata, Garnet Lee, and like people like Andrea Renee. Um, I I loved, it was like a totally new thing. I'd never heard of podcasts before. And I I forget how, I I think I was on IGN actually and saw one of their, one of their little blurbs talking about their podcast. And I was like, what's a podcast? So I listened to one of those and then I kind of went on a search and went to like the charts on iTunes and just started listening. And Weekend Confirmed was uh, a really great kind of conversational long form show, you know, several hours long. Um, then I just started diving into more and more shows and, um, and then somewhere along the line, I, I decided I wanted to do that myself. I think it, it had to have been late 2014, early 2015 that I started realizing I like this audio thing. You know, I, I, at the time I was, uh, recording bands and I still do that, but more prevalently back then recording music all the time. I had the tools to do a podcast and do it pretty well. I thought I just needed to like, you know, possess the personality, I guess, um, and kind of figure out who I wanted to do it with, um, what it would look like. And so I spent a long time just kind of incubating the idea. I actually did YouTube first. I, I did some let's plays on YouTube, um, with like around the time Witcher 3 came out, I uh, started doing Let's Plays, just like typical like picture in picture, uh, the players like on the bottom right of the screen and then there's the game on the screen and like hour long episodes. And I was like, I felt like really good. I think my first episode, I had like nobody, no subscribers, but I had like 400 views on my chant, on my video. I was like, man, this is awesome. There did come a point where I was like, man, I'm, 
I, I feel like I'm just interacting with other creators um, and not anybody else, which at the time I didn't have an appreciation for that. Um, and over time I've kind of come to learn that I think if you are a content creator, you should collaborate as much as possible. And over time you will establish uh, some sort of audience. Given Alex and Brandon's mutual love for gaming, this leaves open the question, where did all of this begin? When did Alex meet Brandon? When did Brandon discover Alex also loved video games and how did this eventually grow from mutual hobby to a weekly podcast? Well, let's start from the beginning. Uh, myself and Alex's mom, my, now my wife, uh, we, we were friends for a really long time and, and um, I, I knew that she was always into um, gaming as well and when we started dating before we got married when we started dating um, at the time she played a lot of uh, World of Warcraft and I think they were also playing City of Heroes or one of the one of the superhero MMOs and um, you know while uh, while we were dating we would you know <laughs> When we're not together, we would still like uh, hang out on World of Warcraft or one of those MMOs, and and um, that's that's kind of how Alex and I started playing together as well. And um, you know, once uh, once his mom and I uh, got married, that that just kind of developed that uh, that gaming relationship, um, and we've been gaming together for really long time now. Did Alex uh, jump in with you guys a lot uh, while playing uh, MMOs? Yep. What What was that like? Was, was it like mainly like the three of you guys, or would you have times where it would just be like you and him playing, or like what was that dynamic like? Um, there were definitely times when they were when it was just uh, he and I playing, um, and you know we also we also knew that. He and I had other tastes beyond MMOs, so there was a lot of times when he w he and I would be playing uh, Xbox or something like that together as well. Mm -hmm. So, so I first met Brandon uh, digitally in World of Warcraft. Uh, my mom and I were living in Northern Virginia, uh, about an hour outside of Washington D.C., and she started talking to. She got on like she was on eHarmony or or OkCupid, some site like that, and excuse me, rediscovered an old friend from high school who was. Brandon and uh, they had like my mom's first marriage Brandon was the best was like really good friends with uh, her my mom's ex-husband and they kind of bonded over their mutual dislike at this point in time for for that man and uh, they started playing World of Warcraft together just kind of like talking you know on TeamSpeak Ventrilo those uh, voice applications just getting to know each other again playing WoW I remember one time they were on a almost like a date in WoW not really like they are just hanging out I guess but they're they're questing and uh I crashed their their session and from that point forward we all played WoW together and uh there was a lot of like honestly there was a lot of uh discontent in my heart for Brandon because I felt like he was stealing my mom's heart which he was <laughs> but in a good way but I saw it as like my life's never gonna be the same you know I I'm used to a single mom who I get all of her attention and so for a while I would say and I don't know if Brandon would admit this I'm pretty sure he would if you pressed him on it but our relationship wasn't the best I had this new dude who was infringing on uh my life I already had a dad which is which is a hurtful thing to think but that's what I thought um, I don't need this new guy coming in. And we kind of honestly just bonded. The video games are the one thing we had in common. Brandon's been gaming for 25, 30 years at this point now. Um, he, he grew up on like playing PC. He was like, he was on like a Unreal Tournament, like championship team. Like he was way into games and so was I. And so that was like a neutral like ground for us to start a relationship on, even if it was in the midst of me talking back and, and like cussing them out under my breath. Uh, it was something, it was a positive, uh, it was probably one of the only positive rela uh, aspects of our relationship, but it was something that we could kind of grow on and kind of uh, expand on and kind of use it as a foundation, right? Pixel Pulse Radio has odd beginnings. It formed out of passion for games, and in an attempt to stay in touch with those Alex and Brandon were passionate about. The catalyst to make it all come together, however, may not be what you'd expect. 
in late May, my grandfather got diagnosed with cancer in uh, late June, he passed away. And then the funeral was July 4th. And I distinctly remember um, after the funeral on July 4th, uh, every, the rest of my family just kind of needed some, some positivity. We were staying in the mountains in Maryland where the funeral was. And uh, they went out to see fireworks because a bunch of kids there and stuff and uh, wanted to give them something other than a funeral that day. Um, to kind of as a coping mechanism, I guess, you know, uh, and, and I decided to actually stay back at the house. We were renting this house in the mountains. It was really nice, but, and we had this awesome view, uh, and I stayed back with my stepdad, Brandon, and we just kind of sat in the, sat on the couch in silence. And, uh, it, it was a long emotional day. And a couple of weeks prior to that, I had kind of mentioned this podcast thing to him and, and so in that moment, we kind of sat down and after a while, I was like, hey, would you be interested in doing a podcast with me? I feel like we have we have chemistry and I don't know, I feel like we could have something cool there, you know? And uh, so we decided we, it was something we wanted to do, uh, but we wanted, we wanted to like launch right and we wanted to have a cool name. We wanted to have a nice graphics package. Um, and so from that point forward, we kind of started workshopping uh, name ideas. We had some really dumb ones. Like one of them, I thought it was, I thought it'd be hilarious if we were called digital streakers. I don't, I don't know what the idea was behind that. Uh, I was like, Oh, people will laugh. Cause it's like nude. And uh, it was a totally dumb name. Makes no sense. I don't know why we did it. I even mocked up a logo for it. That's somewhere uh, in the archives of my hard drives. Um, but somewhere along the line, I think late September, we settled on Pixel Pulse Radio. We wanted to like cover gaming news and share our thoughts on the games we were playing um, and just use that as a time weekly to sit down and talk about what we love and to put it out there and just maybe somebody will listen. I enjoy the, the dynamic between um, between Alex and I. Like I said, it, it started off as a um, as something fun and for Alex and I to do to kind of keep in touch and, and still talk about things that we, we really enjoy. Um but I, you know, I know that there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people out there that um, that have stepfather stepson relationships that um, maybe they maybe they aren't as smooth. Um, but I I like to think that that our show can kind of show people that um, you know it doesn't have to be that t- that uh, that tense between you and your stepdad or or what have you. Like there there's there's almost always some sort of connection uh, between people that, that, you know, maybe it is video games or maybe it's something completely different, but there's almost always that connection. If you, if you take the time to find that connection, um, then, then, you know, you can have these, these conversations too. I remember the, the day after we launched, uh, I got a couple, I had people uh, messaging me via text message saying, you're on the front page of iTunes. And I remember freaking out in the grocery store, like, what? I'm going to be, I'm going to be rich now. <laughs> um, and that was like the coolest thing. And the fact that I could do it with somebody I'm so close to, it was even better. And so from then on, we just kind of, uh, we, we did the shows. We, I don't know, we just like worked and, and now we're, we're here. We just recorded earlier today, our 66th episode. So I don't know time flies when you're having fun, but it's, it's been a blast. So that was kind of, I hope I'm, I, I know I'm rambling, but that was kind of the, the story behind launching and kind of developing that idea of Pixables. I have a story I could tell if you want, but it's not necessary. You, you can choose the, I don't know. It's a story I've actually never told on air. Uh, and you can choose to use it or not use it. One of actually, one of the, I guess, podcast horror stories that I've encountered. I've never, I don't think I've ever shared this story with anybody um, because I was so mortified and I just feel like it was, I don't know. But I think it's an important part of, plays an important part of what Pixel Pulse Radio is. And it's just relating to hard work and, and the fact that uh i guess we'll be there for you i don't know no, you can delete that part that's cheesy <laughs> um so i remember episode 20 of pixel pulse radio we had our first guest on and i was talking about um we wanted perspectives of different people and i had a guy named sean pitts on the show um he works at ign now uh, as a social producer but uh we had sean pitts on And I was feeling great. It was our first guest ever. I was like, man, we wrapped it. It was like an hour and a half long or so. I was like, Sean was awesome. The show, we, we kind of bonded over our our love of Gears of War on the show. And I, I felt like it was this awesome episode. And then I I say bye to Sean 
And uh, I realize I, I, I quit Skype. I go open Pro Tools and I realize two minutes into the show, um, my my audio stopped recording. And so I was left with Sean's audio, Brandon's audio, and I had nothing. Um, and at this point in time, I did not have the uh, the audacity to ask him to come back and record again, uh, which I might do now for a guest. But I sat, it was on a Sunday afternoon after church. I got home. I told Kayla, my wife, don't, don't talk to me. This I'm in, a ter- I'm in a terrible mood. I have to go do something that's going to take a very long time. Uh, and so she did that for me. She went and spent her day doing her own thing. I spent nine hours of my life on a Sunday sitting there listening to I, – I put Brandon and Sean's audio together, listen to what they said, and I would sit here in front of this mic and record, what is going on, everybody, and insert the – drag their clip and just form little conversations until I had nine, ten hours later an entire podcast. And you can go back and listen to it, and you cannot tell – that uh, that we were not talking to each other at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of one of my podcast horror stories and kind of something I'll always remember because I don't know. I, I, that's like one of those, like you pull it out of your back pocket at a job interview. Yes, I'm a hard worker. Um, but yeah, that was a, a terrible, terrible day in the life of Pixapol's radio. But in the end, we uh, we managed to salvage the episode. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Your feedback is important to us. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. You can find similar videos, podcasts, and articles on OKBeast.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at OKBeastNow. For everything games and culture related, make sure to keep it locked right here on OKBeast.